Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. We recently did a video on this Hilux, uh, and I don't know when it came out, and I don't know when this one's going to come out. So hopefully I'll call this part two when it comes out after the first one. What was the other one called? Poor Man Pays Twice Again, or something like that. This is all so avoidable. So we're halfway through the job now, and I just want to give you the update, and I'll do a bit of an update a bit later on in the video, so stick around. Now this is what we found so far, removing the, the torque on the pipes, they certainly didn't use a torque wrench, no surprise there. Some of them really tight, some of them a bit looser. This is the issue, the risk is, and I didn't fully go into it in the other video because I'm just so, just makes me want to almost cry, the waste and the, it's just such a mess now, right? So the old fuel pipes, the risk is they could leak, okay? So new pipes, new injectors, new pipes, right? You can use, in my opinion, from my experience, and there's a bit of it, you can use the same injectors, right? Copy this, the same injectors and the same pipes three times. If you're putting new injectors, you put new pipes. If you've got new pipes and then you get new injectors, you need new pipes, right? So it's new injectors, new pipes. You can use the same pipes on the same injectors three times. 32 newton meters when they're new, 35 the second time, I go sort of 36, 37 the third time, then they're rubbish once you've done that. Throw them in the bin, get a new set. We can, look, if you're a VIP, if you've purchased injectors office before, and you get to five, six, seven, eight, nine years down the track, and let's just say, for example, they're not making new injectors anymore, it's remount only. Oh, mate, I hope your injectors are bad because <laughs> it's not a good, we'll worry about that then, but the point is, I'll supply you pipes, gaskets, whatever, right? But we don't generally sell pipes and gaskets separately, so don't try and just, you know, wherever you got whatever injectors. I don't want to be involved in that or this sort of thing. So reusing the pipes is a risk, okay? What did they do with the pipes? They didn't even take it off at the common rail this time because the pipes were bent like a jack-in-the-box. So as we undid the pipes, you know, down the bottom, you crack it loose and then you go, and you can't turn, you crack it loose, you can't turn. Normally what happens is, the pipes wiggle around, even when it started on the injector, top and bottom, at the common rail on the injector, you can move the pipe, wiggle it around, because it's that's just how it is. But these, they were stretched apart, they were bent apart. We call it a jack-in-the-box. As we take them off, they go boing up, like a jack-in-the-box, right? So the place that did the work did a jack-in-the-box, or maybe the place before that worked on it. This could have been worked on a number of times. Who knows exactly who did what damage? The point is, the vehicle's been to the wreckers all its life, and now we've got to slowly bring it back. We would have liked to pull the injectors out, clean the ports, put new seats, and make sure at least that's right. To be quite honest, I'm looking at these little return gaskets, and I don't know for sure, but they look like they've been reused as well, okay? They are single use only. There's five little gaskets. See here, one on there, two, three, four, and one at the back. They're all the same. There's not one a different size. They're all the same. The different size one's the one that goes outside of the head at the back corner there, right? That's a different size. So don't get those mixed up when you get your kit from me where you get five plus one. The, the bigger ones are outside the head. That's if you're doing the manifold clean only. Otherwise, you won't use it, right? Now, so... It looks like all those little things are being reused. So that's not good. That's the risk of an internal fuel leak, right? What happens is, if they're not replaced and they're not talked to specification, what can happen is fuel, the return fuel leaks from here into the engine and fills the engine oil up. So there's been a number of instances, you know, whether you're central to Melbourne, you know, you've got four by four, you've got an obsession, you've got central stuff, doesn't matter what, where you've been, where you are, whether you're central or you're obsessed with an obsession or you're central, and with your four by four, or we've had so many um, times from these businesses where particularly central places, it's a, I hear the same story from different people. It's like a, you know, you could, <laughs> you could write a book about it, I'll tell you. Anyway, it's like someone's telling you the story of what happened, and then another guy, and, and, it's, and they come from the same place, so I don't know what they're doing wrong. I don't know if they're replacing these, over-tightening these, leaving them loose, forgetting one, but fuel pours out and it goes into there. Now, the, I want to say something positive about this engine for a while, right? Because I like to focus on the positive of anything, really, okay? It's very clean. Inside, now, we've talked about all changes and stuff like that in other videos. See with this one, see how you can see the alloy? It's not spotless, but it's bloody damn good. So I'd say he's doing a lot of good regular oil changes himself, which is awesome. We uh, do support 
doing your own sort of maintenance, right? You know, to, to go ahead and do that. We can't do it all. Watch the videos, do what you can yourself. Then we can send you, you know, there's not many people. When you say, can you recommend someone here, there, feel free to ask on our Facebook groups because you might get an answer from someone else. Even if I go, I'm not going to put my reputation to anyone. You might have someone else might reply and say, yeah, look, I go to, you know, that doesn't mean they're great. It just means they haven't had a problem yet, but they could be great. So better than ask me, I haven't got time to answer all text messages about recommendations on the Facebook groups. I'll probably see it. Feel free to tag me. I'll get to it eventually. If I've got something, I'll reply. If I haven't got anything, I won't reply. I haven't got anything for you. So basically what we've done, we've got the pipes off as clean as we possibly can. We've got those special screw on caps onto the injectors. That's what we like to use on injectors if we're reusing them, not those push pull ones. They can leave a bit of you know, plastic residue, whatever. Just nice clean screw on ones. We're not touching the clamps. We're not checking any torque specifications of the most important parts of the job because he doesn't want to do that. I think it's crazy. I'd be, you know what I mean? You're 90%, 80, 90% of the way there. So we've cleaned up the valve cover surface, ready. We've got a new valve cover here. Right, 350 bucks worth. That's what's going to go on. It's not going to go that way. That's the back, uh, the front of the valve cover. It's going to go like that. But anyway, new valve cover. This is how it comes. It comes with the seals already in the top, and it comes with a gasket there as well. It doesn't come with those nozzle seals. We're going to replace those as well. And of course, new fuel pipes there. They are a set of brand new fuel pipes ready to go on. The other component is these nozzle holder seals. That's what will get replaced on this job. So a new valve cover new nozzle seals, new pipes, it'll be all talked to specification. There'll be no external fuel leaks, there'll be no oil leaks, I guarantee it, 100%, money back guarantee, uh, lifetime warranty, oh, lifetime warranty on workmanship, not the parts, but I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do just for this video. Well, I can't guarantee it a long time because there's no guarantee someone else is not gonna touch it, okay? The cover's gonna go on, we're gonna use factory torque specifications as we're on the pipes, and I can pretty well guarantee this valve cover, any of the seals around the injectors, nothing is going to leak for at least 10 years if nobody touches it. Now the only reason someone's going to need to touch it is if there's any doubt about the health of the injectors, these are most likely, I can't tell what they are, I told you until they come out. He didn't want to do that, right? He didn't want to take them out. Um, I can't tell you what they are, but I believe from what I can see so far, I believe they're full DLC injectors, okay? But I don't know. If they are, they're very robust, they're very strong. The coating on them and all the wearing parts has got less friction, it's harder, so they work better for longer. But if debris have been introduced to the injector from the dodgy, unclean job, then that's gonna cause premature wear, okay? And that's the issue we see. Whenever people are having injectors replaced at lower kilometers, like say someone bought a 2000 and 12 or 13 or 14 or 15 or whatever with a 1KD Prado, brand new, and then, you know, oh, well, they brought it at 50 or 60,000 Ks and it was a bit noisy, or after around about 50 or 60 or 80 or 90, it was a bit noisy, it's got a bit of a knock or whatever. It's always, every time we've followed it up with our investigations, we can trace it back to it's had a service at a Toyota dealer at 40 or 80,000 where to do the job correctly, you're meant to remove these injectors to check the valve clearances every 40. I'm not talking about here, you don't need to do that. Watch the other videos for all the information. I can't fit it all into this one. I've been there, done that, we'll do it again. That's not this video, but the point is we've traced it back and gone, right, so 40,000 by the looks of it, and then we look at the vehicle and we can tell th what things have been touched. I'll give you an example, right? So one of the other problems in this picture here, right? On the Hilux, the wiring loom bolts to the top of the valve cover. If you look at the top of the picture there, I'm going to get a special pointer. See this here? That is the stud. That is a metal stud that goes in the top of the valve cover, right? Now, again, the torque specification is five newton meters, right? Five newton meters. I'm just trying to look in the picture because the, the, there's something in the way and I can't, I'm pretty sure you can see that in the picture. Let's just zoom in a little bit just to make, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the top, right on the top edge of the picture there. Right, see that little uh, piece of alloy. It goes into the valve cover. It's like an interference fit, and you know you can re-glue them. I'll go quickly into how you can fix that up if this happens to you. Why is it like that? Because the people before have over tightened it. They've hit it with their heavy duty. It's meant to be five newton meters. I don't care if it's eight or ten, but 20, 30, and 40 doesn't work. The bolt gets locked into the alloy, and then when we go to undo it, it just spins in the valve cover. 
okay so what we do later is we put you know get the vice grips or put it in the vice if it's a product it depends what part comes out you've basically got to leave it your, your wiring loom bracket upwards a little bit pull on it lever it whatever while spinning that 10 mil still so it's good to use like an impact driver and it'll come out and it'll end up like that uh, and then later you've got to put your vice either way this is what we've got to do we don't need that piece because we're putting a new valve cover i'll just show you the new valve cover so we know what we're talking about had me worried there for a minute, I've got to be honest. I just looked at that. I looked at that and I went, oh no, this is a, oh no, this is a Prado one. But see this, I'll explain the difference between a Prado and a Hilux one. Now it's a Hilux one. See what we're talking about, these? So they've got a, they're a tight fit, but they're also glued in. They are really super strong. For a bolt to be locked in there and pull that out, someone has over tightened it to the absolute max. Now the only difference with a Prado and a Hilux valve cover the Hilux uses these uh, studs to mount the wiring loom, which I like that. But the Prado is quieter because it's got a cover over the cover, so it doesn't use those. And it actually uses this hole here, has got the stud in it. And it uses this one at the back here, which this vehicle won't use either. Let me think, just thinking that through. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, it doesn't. That's for a Prado. And this one here would be for a Prado. So obviously, uh, they just, that looks like they just grind it off by the looks of it. You know what I mean? At the top there, they just get rid of it. So same casting and everything's the same. It's just your two mounting boards. Hilux here, Prado here, here, and the clips on the side on the Prado as well. The clips will be here and here because the bolts of the cover that go over the cover. So look, all that bonus information in these videos. Um, I hope I've covered, look, I might not have covered everything, you know what I mean? But the video could just go on and on and on and on and on with information. I think I covered it. You know, they bent the pipes, the torque settings weren't right, the torque settings on the rest of the job is probably not right, he doesn't want to touch it. We're going to put a new cover, new nozzle seals, new pipes, Mickey Mouse clean, we've done the absolute best we could, I'm happy, we're all sealed up here clean, um, and we're about to get it all back together. We're just going to use those four prescribed dobs of RTV in the four, just tiny little dobs, right? Each side of that half moon, each side of that hump, nowhere else, we don't need one that's smothered in, the good news is, you know, this wasn't smothered in RTV, but you know, a lot of places do that. They put it all around. These don't leak, you don't need to do that. It's nine Newton meters on a new cover, new gasket. You need to do that in many passes, very slowly, evenly, kind of working your way to the corners last, a bit like a head gasket type situation, right? But just do it in many passes. Don't do it up tight anywhere. You know, just nip it, and it's, it's gonna be time consuming, on and off, work your way around slowly. This is why to do it properly, it costs more because it takes longer to do it that way instead of just zipping it down all the way on that one, all the way on that one, and 12 and you're done. It's like you're going to go around hundreds of times. You're going to do it in five or six or seven passes to your final click of the nine unit meters with a torque wrench. Anyway, I'm out of here. This was part two on Poor Man Pays Twice. I'll probably call it something like Poor Man Pays Twice Part Two. And your warning is, just because you've seen this video and you've seen the job apart, don't think you can go ahead and do it. And I know plenty of people can. You can go ahead and do it. I'm just warning the people that, you know, you're trying to save money and when you jump in and you haven't seen all the videos, you want to be in the VIP group. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For anyone that watches this video all the way to the end, we don't charge for the VIP access. It's for clients. It's a client-only group. We, there's two ways we can do it. We can take a 550 deposit towards parts. That's a deposit towards parts kit like the BFE kit, the injector kit, or the front wheel bearings. You can purchase any one of those or you can pay a deposit 550, you can get in the VIP. I'm gonna introduce a new thing right now. You can pay 330 bucks and you've got a lifetime membership in the VIP group, right? You don't get anything for it. So you've got an option there, 550, and it costs you nothing to join it to deposit on parts. Or if you never wanna buy parts off me, you're overseas, whatever, you don't like me, you just want me, I don't care. You wanna be in the VIP group, you better behave yourself or you'll get booted. No swearing, no personal attacks, we're all nice to each other. It's an awesome community. 330 bucks, AUD, text me, 0490261013. If you want it, I'll send you the details, make the payment, you can join the VIP group, and you can see the full detailed videos that go for hours and hours on a number of vehicles, about 10 vehicles, Prados, Hiluxes, the full injector replacement job, like the EGR cleaning job, which is out there for you for free. If you liked it, you're learning something, and this has helped you, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe, turn the bell on, I'm out of here, see ya.